everyone. Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. And I want to welcome y'all to the marathon that's going on today. Um, I want to say a special thank you to Dawn with, um, she's with Wreath Decor by Dawn. And then Susan, she's with AC Inspired Wreaths. They have put this marathon together, scheduled everything, um, planned it, and has been helping us. So a special thank you to Dawn and to Susan. So um, I want everybody to go and like their pages and um, follow them. And you need to hit the follow button also because if you don't, then you don't get notifications when any of us go live or anything like that. So I want to say welcome. I hope y'all are doing great. There's Miss Dawn and Michelle, Laura. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to be making, um, it can be a door hanger. It can be hanging on the wall. You can hang it on your fireplace. Um, curtains. You can hang it anywhere. It's real easy. This is a Dollar Tree foam board. You can also get these at Dollar General and at Walmart. And I even think like um, Office Depot. So I'm just taking a pencil because I have this little pattern here. And I'll just be honest, my pattern, I just laid my hand out and I just kind of went, made it bigger because I did want it to be a little bit bigger than my hand. Then I have a little X, um, X-O knife and foam board is really easy to cut. So now I'm just tracing around. I have a couple of these cut out already, but I said if I don't cut them out and show y'all, um, it it's not going to take up my hour. So I said I'll just show y'all how easy it is to cut. Because these are so much fun. And I have these listed in my Etsy shop. And I have sold quite a few of them. So I hope everyone's doing good today. And I'll probably, there's Miss Delaney. Hey. Are you following the, um, there's Diane. Are y'all following the marathon? All these crafters um, are making beautiful things. And y'all, when I get off um, at the top of the hour, it's 5 o'clock here Central Time. It's 6 o'clock Eastern Time. So when I get off, Miss Jewel with, um, no, it's not. I just messed up. It's Miss Kathy with Jewel Crown Reads. I was about to get that backwards. So y'all have to pop over there and watch her also because she's after me. We've just had a marathon of all kind of wreath makers and, and crafters today. It's been a lot of fun and it's going on tomorrow all day. So if you're sitting at home and you got nothing to do, jump on the live and say, hey, like and follow their pages. So this is just a Dollar Tree, a Dollar General, Walmart. Get this foam board anywhere. So, then, I've made, like I said, a bunch of these. And I always use the felt. But, for kicks and giggles, I said, I'm going to try something else. Now, if we have time, I'll put them together real quick. But, we're going to try something new. Who likes the country decor um, or the primitive decorations. Thank you, Michelle. I love the primitive myself. I'm not all about all the stars on everything, but other than that, I like stars on some stuff, but I would rather have bells or whatever. But, um, I do like the country look. This is homespun material. It's a cotton material, but it's 
they call it homespun and what that means is it's the same on both sides and Michelle does a lot of um, wreath attachments and beautiful attachments in her arrangements and she makes all kinds of stuff and she probably knows all about this material because she does some beautiful work but I thought since I've, I've used the felt in most of these I'm going to try the homespun So how is everyone's Saturday going? I'll tell you, it's December and we can honestly wear shorts outside today. Oh, you're very welcome, Michelle. I see all your pictures all the time and they're just beautiful. It is hot and muggy here in Mississippi today. So it doesn't feel like Christmas weather for sure. Okay, now this is a little bit wrinkled. Because literally, at four minutes before time for me to go on, come on live, I, you know, I had that squirrel moment. And I thought, let me grab some homespun. So this is the homespun. See, it's the same on both sides. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put this in here. And all this foam board is for is basically to, to keep it standing up, to keep it straight. And I can make those, cut them more to the design in just a moment. I got this a little bit tight right here. So I'm just going to use some hot glue and y'all we're not I'm not going to be washing these so they should hold just fine if you're going to wash something I wouldn't recommend hot glue but this is not going to be washed it's just going to be hanging so these will be cute I may trim that little bit of foam there. This material did crawl a little bit more than the felt does. So if you're wanting to get it precise, you can pin it down as you're cutting it. But I usually fly by the seat of my pants and just do it. And then adjust as I go. So I did a little bit of decorating this morning. Has anyone got finished decorating yet for their Christmas? I can say I'm, I've got two rooms done and I've got a few rooms to go. I haven't even got my, my front door done. Y'all, oh, that's bad. I'm going to cut this just a little bit before we get started. Oh, thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. And y'all, that's Susan. She's going to be on later tonight. And her and Dawn are the ones that organized all this. They're very sweet. You don't need to go find their pages. And like and follow because um, they organized everything, got all these crafters together, wreath makers, and um, scheduled everything, coordinated with everybody. Super, super sweet. And that is Dawn with Wreath Decor by Dawn and Susan with AC Inspired Wreaths. And if you're wreath makers and you need those needles to thread your wires down through your wreaths, Miss Dawn, I got mine. She's uh, 
They're very cheap. They're very, she ships them fast. So, I recommend getting some from Miss Stone. And y'all, she didn't ask me to say that. So, but I'm just telling y'all, y'all can do yourself a favor. Okay, we've almost got this one all glued up here. And y'all, I will go back. There's Miss LaVon. How are you? Y'all, she's precious. And an amazing painter. I could sit and watch her paint. I will go back through my comments and catch everybody. Okay, so here's my mitten. Y'all, this is so easy and so cute. And I will show y'all. These are kind of like the ones that we're making. I want to show y'all. All right, and then I have these. I've sold out of all my brown ones, and I've sold all my tan ones. So, let's see. All right, let me turn these back around. So, I don't have any of the brown ones or the tan ones to show. They're done gone. Now, if you wanted to make these like a theme, if you have a theme going on, like if you were doing the elves or the gingerbread, you could put that right up here because this one's done in ribbon, but I'm going to do these in fur. Now, I'll tell you what I'm fixing to do because I got that out to do with the red. I'm going to do this. And then, I didn't think about this, you know, because I have those squirrel moments that I change everything at the last minute. I'm going to add this white. And then, I'm going to get some instant coffee and some water. And I'm going to spray it on here and stain my fur so that it looks rusty. Now, if you're cutting fur, let me show y'all a little trick. Oh, there's Monique. Hey, Monique. She's from Sweden, y'all. She found me on YouTube and came over to Facebook to catch me live. And she stays up at, to three o'clock in the morning on Friday nights mm -hmm. to watch me live. Is that not loyalty? But if you're cutting fur, turn it over and you're just cutting the thin layer of the material. You're not cutting through the fur part. You know, you've seen fur and it'd be cut straight across. You don't want that. So you just barely cut the, um, the back of the fur, just like that. And let me show you. That way, when you cut it, see, you've still got all this fur, and it's not like a straight line. It doesn't ruin the look of your fur. So you always turn it around on the back side and cut that. That way. Let's see. I'm so happy. Thank y'all for joining me today. I'm usually not on on Saturdays, because Saturdays are usually like crazy hectic for me but when Dawn asked us did we want to do this I was like you know I've never done a marathon before and I don't think I'm going to do that now I'm doing the same thing I'm just going up the middle because it's a little bit too wide so we're going to go up the center and once again Cut it on the back side. I'm just going to go up the center here. Just like that. And then it hasn't messed up your fur once again. All right. So, 
Let's take the am I blocking y'all's view. Don't need to do that. I'm gonna get it right here in the middle and start. Okay, just like so. And we're gonna flip this over. Just like this. Now we're leaving this open on the top. So there's Miss Willamine. How are you? There's my sweet mama, my mother. Uh, I've been feeling too good this week. Love my mama. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and get our fur together. All right. I will tell y'all. So see, and you can rub a little bit on here and make your edges look kind of frayed. So, I really like that. We're gonna have some bells. And we're gonna make some sort of a bow. And y'all, we're just Going to take some ribbon, and nothing fancy, nothing, um, I can't even tie. Y'all give me a big bow to make, um, and I can make it. It's these little bows that gets me every time. Pull it down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some coffee and some, some instant coffee and some water. And um, mix it up. And then I'm just going to put it in a spray bottle. And I will spray my fur to make it look kind of tan. Y'all, I know I'm not paying attention to all the um, comments, but I will go back when I get off of here and read all of them. Three lives with you in one week, girl. <laughs> That's right, Miss Monique. Three this week. Y'all going to get spoiled. Y'all are going to get spoiled. Y'all are not going to know what to think. This is not wire ribbon, um, so it's not my typical bow. I'm gonna go ahead and put some wire on there. I'm gonna use silver. Y'all, last night I told y'all I couldn't find my um my favorite wire cutters. I found them. I found them. I still haven't found my tree skirt that I bought. Um, we had went to North Carolina um, to get my father-in-law here a couple weeks ago. I bought a tree skirt. I love it. Brought it home, can't find it nowhere. So I know I hid it from myself. Y'all ever need anything hid, just call me. I promise you I can put it where you can't find it. So, 
last night for my live. I was looking for my wire cutters. Even asked my husband. I said, can't find them. He said, well, I didn't get them. I was thinking, did you borrow them? I found them. They was in my stash. So that's the way that goes. Okay. Let's see. I got red and green. Now I'm always looking to see something different. And this came from Big Lots. It's just a little um, tiny ribbon. They try to child proof or adult proof this this ribbon. They know we got to get into it. I mean, come on now. Okay. Put some right like this. I just love the country look. Let's see. It's what we call kind of a messy bow. Or that's what I call it. But it ain't. It ain't nothing organized about this bow. And I love this little trim. It's some kind of little yarn that's just got little uh, strings coming off of it everywhere. It gives a, a touch of messiness to it also. And I've got some more of this little, it's like a crocheted lace ribbon. gonna make a couple little loops here and then I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna take my wire here and pull it real tight. How am I doing on time? Okay, I'm good. Oh thank you Miss Robin. Miss Robin has posted my Etsy link. There's Miss Angela and Miss Susie. How are y'all? And y'all, if I've missed your name, I'll go back and, and chit-chat with y'all when I get off. Um, but we're doing this marathon, and so I do want to get finished before I get off. But I don't want to get into anybody else's time. So, my little squirrel moments, I'm trying to keep them, all my squirrels together. Because y'all know I get, I get squirrel moments, and I go all different ways. I'm just taking my bail through this little wire and tying it around here. You can glue them. You can um, wire them. Oh, thank you, Miss Angela. Thank you. All right, my wire cutters, my favorite wire cutters. Look at that. And I'm going to put that at the edge. Let's see. Trim up some of these ribbons. I'm cutting these at an angle. Usually if I'm making a wreath, it's going to be dovetails. But tonight it is just some little angles. Y'all are thinking we're almost through, and we're not. We are not. I'll hold that a second. And this is what it's looking like. Aren't those cute? Trying to get that all glued down. And then, 
we got some greenery, but look at there. I'm going to use this up. You can bet that. Because you know what the rule is. The rule of ribbon is if you finish a roll, you get to buy three in its place. Hey, I don't make the rules. I just try to abide by them. So, hey. Ain't that funny? Ain't that funny? All right. I love these right here. And these come from um, three more rolls. That's right. That's right, Miss Robin. Miss Robin's posting is as Rachel's Unique Crafts. So, um, we like that roll, that roll, don't we, Miss Robin? For sure. Because y'all know I need some ribbon. These are so cute. Now, all you would do is, I need to stick them in the back side. And that's why you've got the board. It's going to hold its shape, and then when you put the greenery in there, it's not going to bend, or um, it's going to hold your greenery up. And we're going to fluff it because I don't want my greenery flat. If you're ever making a wreath or flower arrangement, bend your stems so that they're not just flat. I've got some um, eucalyptus here also. I think this is a type of boxwood. And that is eucalyptus. Just some different textures and some different shades of color. Um, but this is my all-time favorite. Um, it just says Hobby Lobby. I don't know what it's called, but it's got little, it's got little berries on it. Show them your box arrangement. Oh, I took the bat. I had to have batteries on another thing project, so I took the batteries out. But this is the box, and it's got lights uh, going around it. And I'm telling where the screw is. That was probably one of those squirrel moments. But yeah, so you just take a box. It's got some snowman on the back. That cute. This was easy. That is super easy to make. I've got my battery pack in there so the lid is not wanting to stay um, turned over like that. So now let's take our berries. Y'all can um, fan these out. These come from Hobby Lobby and they were like $2.99 and you get 50% off. The best, the best deal I found. Because um, I made an, uh, some little wreaths the other night and used these. You can use them in arrangements like um, to go in your, around your candles. You can use these in so many different things. And they, they got that vintage, that primitive look to them, to, I think. So, you know, that's right up my, my alley. Poke them down in there. Spread them out. me here work with me not against me how cute and this would be something that you can you can use past um, Christmas you can use this all winter because the, it's it, it doesn't say Christmas now when I make the second one 
see how you can hang them you can hang them up um, like on your tie backs for your curtains you can hang them on your fireplace if you've got one of the ladders that you hang your um, throw towel throw towels throw um, blankets on you can put it on the um, uh, steps and loop it around there there's so many things that you can do with this. You can just hang it on the wall. You can hang it on your door. You can literally use this anywhere to decorate. And I have even put a Christmas tree in my bathroom. Y'all, don't think I'm crazy. It's cute. And I'm going to share pictures with y'all. Um, so y'all can see it. I said, you know, you put candles in your bathroom to relax. Why not a few twinkle lights? I'm all about it. Now we have we have a few minutes left. So if y'all want to hang around, hang out a little bit, I'm going to do a felt one real quick. I will make a second one just like this. And I'll show y'all again in case anybody showed up late. I'll put a big ribbon around back like this and then you can hang them on anything so and this one's got um holly and eucalyptus and um and it's all frosted so it really looks you know Christmassy more but this one you could use and you wouldn't have to use the homespun material you could use felt it wouldn't have to be real primitive um, if you don't like the primitive look um, like I said I've used all my brown ones and all my tan ones are sold out on Etsy but people and I sold some of these like in February last year no this year this year I guess I'm thinking it's already past Christmas but I did I sold several um, sets after it was after Christmas it was in February so and all you do you just cut your felt larger than your your foam board and if you don't have foam board if you got um, cardboard you could use a cardboard box it's gonna give you the same results and you wouldn't even have to go out and buy the foam board your um your fur and your greenery is probably the the most expensive on here the felt likes to grab everything. So you'll need a lint brush to get all the um, strings and all that kind of stuff off of here. So when I get done, um, Kathy with um, crown jewel wreaths will be up next in our marathon. So y'all can go and like and follow her page if you'd like to. Um, and Miss Dawn with Wreath Decor by Dawn. And Miss Susan with AC Inspired Wreaths. Dawn and uh, Susan put this marathon together. So... Please say thank you. Go like and follow their page for them because they put in a lot of work and organizing and getting with everybody and getting all this organized. Hey, Miss Tracy, that's a great idea. <laughs> she was a woman after my own heart. Hey, put a Christmas tree in the bathroom. See, I don't feel so bad now. Which I didn't feel bad getting with. I mean, I told him, I said, you, you use candles in the bathroom. All you need is just a little twinkle light and a tree. So.
So, and it's not like a, it's more like a, a mountain pine tree, kind of. It's like a pencil pine. It's pretty. I love it. Oh, thank you, Susan. I appreciate y'all because I've never been in a marathon before. It's been fun. I, I've, I've tried. I haven't gotten to watch everybody's full live, but I've watched most of everybody's lives. I've been on every one of them. But on a couple of them, I had to... I left it on and running back and forth and trying to catch bits and pieces of all of them. And we got another day tomorrow, y'all. So, I've got it posted on my page. Y'all go look it up, and y'all can see who's going to be on at what time. And... Oh, that's funny, Dana. Yes, ma'am. Twinkles while you tinkle. That's right. Hey. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, we're going to cut some more fur. And if somebody wasn't here a while ago, when we cut that fur, I'm just going to put a little snip of where I want to cut it. I just made a little snip in the back. Always turn your, your fur over and slide your blade right just up under this, um, the backing on here. Don't cut all the way through your fur because fur is, is needled in. Um, so if you cut just the fabric part of it back here, then when you get through, your fur is gonna, it's gonna be cut nice. So now you still have that, um, natural edge. It's not cut like and messed up your edge on your fur. It's just a little tip there about how to cut fur and keep it looking pretty instead of looking like it's butchered. Now I'm just going down through the center and once again just Cutting that um that fabric that's on the back. If you just slide it and just inch it down, just snipping just little bitty snips all the way, then it, it doesn't cut your fur, it just cuts your fabric right there. So that's the way we do that. Please make sure to like and share follow. Oh, thank you, Miss Susan. Thank you, thank you. If y'all like the page, um, also go and hit follow. And you can go in and edit your um, notifications. And if you don't go in and edit them to get all notifications, then when um, anybody that you're following, not just my page, anybody's page, if you don't go follow them and notify and um, edit your notifications, it's not going to give you, let you know when they go live or let you know when um, they post new stuff or anything. So anybody that y'all are following today, make sure you go in and hit that follow button to edit it. Edit the notifications. I see y'all can't even tell where I glued that together. Um, and that way you can get notified for all the lives and all the posts. Okay. It's all that fur. We gotta make a bow for this one too. Y'all, these little things come from Walmart. And I just think they're cute. I use them a lot. It's good for like little fillers. I 
going to be for my second one. Made like this. How am I doing? Trying to watch my time. Because um, at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, 5 o'clock, no, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, let me get that right. Yeah, it'll be 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. Um, Miss Jewel will be on with, um, no, Miss Kathy with Crown Jewel. Y'all, I, I mess that up every time. Miss Kathy with Crown Jewel Reese will be on next. So you'll have to go find her. This has been so much fun. Okay. Can y'all see the... There y'all can see the red berries and how it's looking. And I'll use a, a bell. Some of these bells don't have the little ding a ling a ling in the middle. Y'all, every Christmas we put a puzzle together. So, it's not going to be long enough. So, while we're putting a puzzle together, every time somebody finds a piece, we go ding a ling a ling a ling And, you know, at 2 o'clock in the morning and everybody's going ding a ling a ling a ling it gets kind of funny. I'm maybe out of that. So... It may be a different piece of fabric that we use, or ribbon. Let's see, one more drawer. Well, we could do buffalo plaid. Although, everybody's not into buffalo plaid, so... Um... Tell you what we can do. We can, if I don't have any more of this, that's not going to be good. I, hey, where was this? This was at Hobby Lobby. That's an excuse. My husband going to love hearing that. Dear, I got to go to Hobby Lobby. I'm sure he will he will not be surprised. And I will get some more ribbon. But what we can do here I need to go get my better scissors. I bought me some better scissors because these has cut so many wired ribbons that they are kind of snaggy here. Gotta have some of this. Some of this messy stuff. And I hope everybody's getting some cooler weather than we are. It's been muggy. It's been warm today. So, it just, it doesn't feel like Christmas time when it's that hot and, and muggy. All right, let me find a, another piece of, of wire here. And if y'all don't mind, you could sprinkle the video on your um, your own page. That way you can find us easier. Alright, I'm going to put that right there. Put, some, put a little dab of glue. And 
trim up these ribbons while that's cooling down and drying a little bit. And we'll put a bell right here in the middle of it. And that looks just as good without big loops. And because that's on fur, it's kind of leaning a little bit. Thank you, Miss Laura. I appreciate that. They're very versatile. You can use them anywhere. So here we go. Aren't these cute? So, like I said, when I get um, some more ribbon, I'll do my ties, and you can even do jute. Um, and you just glue them to the back. That's one that fur coming off. And then you can hang them. Y'all, y'all got about. 10 minutes and I uh, love your fur trim. Thank you. It's um, it's got little brown spots in it. We'll call it a Dalmatian. So here's the felt one. Here's the homespun one that we made. Y'all can see that. These are real easy. Um, you could even do like a Santa shoe, a Santa boot. Um, you could do a Santa hat and turn it upside down like this, just out of foam board. Or you could take a piece of foam board and slide your Santa hat from Walmart or from Dollar General or Dollar Tree over it. Um, and it's already done for you. Um, but yeah, you can hang these anywhere. And you can use them past Christmas. You could use them all fall. I mean, all uh, winter. Y'all, words are hard. They get all mixed up sometimes. So, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to go head over to um, here in about probably seven, eight minutes. Um, I really love this idea. Thank you. So oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you for being here and supporting me, too. Um, thank you, Mary Ann. Good to see you, too. Um, y'all can head over to Kathy. At Crown Jewel, and the, I keep calling her Jewel because um, I have a cousin named Jewel. So anyway, but it's um, Kathy at Crown Jewel Reese, and watch her. Um, then um, I don't know who comes on next, but I know Susan's going to be on tonight with AC Inspired Reese, and she's one of the ones that help organize this, get it all together, and help um, promote it. Her and Miss Dawn, and Miss Dawn will be on tomorrow night, I know. So please go like and follow their pages because they put in a lot of hard work for us to be able to do this and to share um, crafting ideas with y'all um, and wreath ideas. So um, just to show our appreciation, please go um, like and follow their pages. Um, and y'all go head over to Kathy at Crown Jewel Wreaths and... Watch her, because she'll have something beautiful making, too. Thank y'all. If y'all would, you can sprinkle the video. You can uh, like and follow my page. And we do lives on Tuesdays and Friday nights. Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Friday nights is uh, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. So, y'all can find me on YouTube as well as Rachel's Unique Crafts. And there's a lot of videos that goes up over there that never comes to Facebook. That I do uh, vi recorded videos um, over there of stuff that um, Facebook just don't get to see. <laughs> so we shed a lot of love and shed a lot of um, share a lot of ideas. So thank y'all all. I will join y'all in seeing Miss Kathy and have a wonderful evening, a great weekend. Remember, I love you all.